Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and this is a game that we have not had on the channel for some time now, and uh, I apologize about that, it's just, you know, YouTube is just so crazy with with views, and what video gets views, and you put out a video that doesn't get views, and then it, it hurts your whole algorithm, and it's just, it's just ridiculous, but, um, nonetheless, I, I still very much like this game, and we're going to be doing a job on the new map, uh, God, what is the new map even? What is it called? Uh, Duncan Bay, British Columbia. Okay, so we need to take this flatbed and we need to go all the way up to the north. We need to pick up some metal beams because we need to repair a bridge. Man, it seems like it's been a long time since we've had a mission like this where we had to repair a bridge. So we got to go all the way up into here over to this factory here, I guess. So yeah, let's just uh, place a waypoint here if I even remember how to do this. R2, there we go. We'll do that. Come back here. There we go. So that's what we're doing. Now, we actually have quite a bit to talk about. So let's uh, let's get this thing started up. Oh, and I, I love this Ford cab over, boy, I really do. Such a cool truck. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. We do that. Handbrake off. There you go. So, I'm driving on the wheel. You know, I absolutely love playing this game on my wheel. Force feedback is just so good. And yeah, the immersion is just top notch, I think. So yeah, the creators of SnowRunner, Saber Interactive, they uh, they kind of got a trailer out for a new game that they're working on, Expedition, um, a Mud Runner game or something like that it's called. I don't know if you guys have seen it or checked it out. I'll uh, I'll leave a link to that trailer in the description of this video. So you guys can check that out. Or maybe I'll even pin it in the comments. But it will be somewhere down below. Ooh. That hit hard. Holy crap. But if you have seen it, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And then uh, you'll, you'll, you'll know. So basically the game is going to be still on... Last gen and current gen, so it's going to be on PS4, uh, Xbox One, One X, or whatever it was called, um, PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and Nintendo Switch. So, still getting games that are, are being severely held back by last gen, unfortunately. But uh, I guess it just it is what it is. And I'm not gonna lie, the game pretty much looks identical to SnowRunner. <laughs> it really does, and from what I've seen, it looks like it takes mostly the, the, the missions and the things that I didn't like about this game, and it puts the emphasis on them. So it's more about expeditions and, like, uh, recovering things, so it's going to be a lot of uh, metal detector uh, kind of things. Um, there's, like, a drone, which is pretty cool. I don't, I don't hate that. I don't mind the drone. That seems pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just it, it just looks like more of the same, if I'm being honest. You know, I feel like... Ooh, am I stuck? I feel like it could have been another expansion to SnowRunner. I mean, this game still looks good. So I don't, I don't see any point and bring out a new game unless you're going to, you know, do something really magnificent with it. I don't know. I just didn't... I just get those vibes from uh, the trailer. You know, but again, that's me. You guys go and, and take a look at it yourself and drop in the comments what you think about it. Does it look like something you're going to be really interested in? Did it uh, excite you to see it or, or not? Let me know. Okay, so wait a minute. Where is... It looks like the road... 
kind of goes up over this way, yeah. Don't want to hit those big rocks. That's for sure. But in more gaming news, it seems like the head honcho over at SCS, which is a developer for America Truck Simulator and European Truck Simulator 2. Oh, I don't like this at all. Um, is talking more about bringing the game to console, and it seems like, hopefully, maybe sometime in 2024, 2025, that may become a reality. The truck just stalled? Are you serious? That's weird. That's never happened before. And, you know, I think that's why I love this game so much is because... This does kind of give me that, that truck driving fix. Although not like the uh, typical long haul truck driving that you would get on the road. And I don't mean the game on the road. I mean like literally <laughs> like, you know, on the road driving. So hopefully we'll hear something about that fairly soon. I know he did say something is coming big uh, in December sometime, so we'll have to keep a lookout for that. I will keep you guys informed for anything I find out. Ooh, these bridges. I don't like these bridges. But yeah, this this particular game, there is so much content in here. I really, oh man, I just, I don't think I'll ever finish this game, if I'm being honest. And they're not done. They're not done with this game. What do we have? We have like two, two more seasons? Two or three more seasons maybe that have to be released yet? So a lot more to come from SnowRunner. And I guess they're going to keep developing this game right up until the release of a new game. Now, I don't know what that means for SnowRunner. I don't know if this game is going to be the, uh, the nail in the coffin to SnowRunner or what. But, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get a little out of the cab here so you guys can see. Detour. Now, do I want to take that? Let me just take a look at the map here. I mean, we we could. The only thing I'm thinking, am I going to be able to get up there? Uh, do I have the suspension raised in this? Okay, it is now. Okay, so let's... Let's see if I can... Get this thing up over here. If we have to, we can winch. Ah, no. We got it. We got it, baby. Nice. You know, the one thing I will say, it's interesting how this game is called SnowRunner, yet there's really not a lot of snow maps, is there? They seem to do more, more summer maps than they do anything. But yeah, I absolutely love this. This old Ford cab over. That's funny because I was, I was discussing that with my father. Like back in, I think even the '80s, we seen a lot of cab overs here in America. As a matter of fact, Optimus Prime <laughs> used to be a cab over. That's the uh, the toy I grew up with. And uh, then at some point, we just didn't see him anymore. And now it's, it's very rare to see a cab over in this country. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay. 
Don't know if we'll want to go back this way for the full load. Oh, am I not going Yeah, that, that hurts. Come on. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, maybe we won't come back this way. We, we'll, we'll go the detour. Maybe there'll be another way we can go, actually. that so let's let's back up and let's go out this way and around I think yeah I've never been here so it's all new to me guys <laughs> but just bear with me God, look at this mess. Look at this mess they get back here. Okay, let me go to the map quick because I just want to see. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll just go all the way around. Let me see if I can go back in here. A little more in cab. They already have signs saying, you know, truckers this way. <laughs> just where I marked it you know what if this isn't even where I where I have to go oh yeah I think it's where I have to go um wow it's not great it's not great oh okay metal beams hey that's exactly what I need I need two of those there we go now speaking of American truck simulator if it comes to console, one thing I really hope that they do is this year. So as you can see, I'm moving the camera and I'm looking at the, uh, the rear view mirror. But if I go all the way back like this, we actually stick our head out the window so we can see. That's something that is just a must when you're, uh, you're driving with trailers. Okay, so hold on. Let's take a look here. Where do I have to bring this? Ah, uh, the tracks, the North City Bridge. Oh, so we want to start tracking this. So, I think I'm going to come back this way now, catch the road, and then go right over there. Okay, so we're not, we're not far from that, but wait a minute. Sorry, guys, I just have to see. From here, go straight and kind of turn. Let me just mark this. A little bit. Wait. What the hell? Oh, let's just do... That's right. What is going on with this? Why is this doing this? All 
right, and we had to reset it back to day because there's no way in hell I want to do this at night. All right, so we're just going to get through here, go that road, and then we'll head off to the bridge. So here's the road we have to use to get back. This is the detour road. I don't know if this is going to be better, to be honest with you, because the last one, it wasn't, it wasn't really bad, per se. It had its spots, but... <laughs> this don't even look like a road, man. Ooh. Those big rocks. Those will damage the suspension sure as hell. I need to see where this road goes. Oof. Okay. It does just keep going around, but now I see it. Is it me or does this truck sound like it keeps stalling out, but... I don't know. Maybe it just sounds like it. This is going to be an interesting... Needle the thread. Definitely an interesting road. A lot more interesting than the other one we were on. Longer too. This is the longer way around. That's okay. Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a little rough here. Let's go back in the cab so I can see what I'm dealing with. That is, oh god. Oh, okay. Hold on here. Oh, yeah, I don't know if this was. No! Mm. 
All right, so we had to get a little bit of help here. Because <laughs> right, so we're going to need to pick up those metal beams and get them back on the truck. So we got this uh, pretty cool fire truck here with a big crane on it. And that's going to help us. You know, the funny thing is, we didn't have that much further to go. <laughs> oh, good lord, this is bouncy. Probably should have lowered my suspension for that. Yeah, I think we're, yeah, we're just right up ahead. You know, I swear, that's always how it happens in this game as well. Like, you're so close to getting out of the worst part, and that's when you flip it. Now... Uh, just take a look at what we're using here. Um, can I get around me? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I wonder if I could take that tree down. Nice. Okay, let's not get stuck on it. Okay. Beautiful. So I got the big crane. So we should be good here. Let's see here. Let's do that. Now, I have to try to remember... Perfect. There we go. Nice. I just have to remember how all this works. There we go. Restore the crane. Let's unpack, then pack. Whew. Okay, so. <laughs> let's, well, let's continue. <laughs> And get this job done, shall we? Wait, it's been a long time since I've uh, tipped a truck in this game. I've been doing pretty good. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've played, though. And, I mean, technically, we saved the truck. And it's just a cargo. Just the cargo isn't strapped on good enough, I guess. Not to withstand the truck tipping over. So, just got to get out of here. Over this bouncy log road. Wonderful. I don't like that big rock there. So we did avoid it. Go. Now I think it's safe to go back in this view. Whew. All right. So now all we got to do Let's get these metal beams back to the bridge. And I should probably check the map. So, let's see here. We are here. Okay, the bridge is right on this road. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
as always, it was a fun trip. That's what I mean. This is a really good trucking game. It's just different, you know? It's not like driving along highways and making normal, normal deliveries. Right here. Perfect. Okay, so let's do this. Gotta love it. Now you can ride across the bridge too. This will probably make your further work easier. The reward is being transferred to your account this very minute. $5,850. 750 XP the North City Bridge is complete all right guys so thank you so much for joining me today if you liked the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed I hope you're having a fantastic day and we'll see you next time